Before moving forward, check out Coding Interview Prep Masterclass for preparing for interviews of product-based company. It covers 70 plus problem solving patterns asked in top companies with detailed examples. Use code IUSHI for 50% off for lifetime access. The course is self-curated by Pratik Singhal, Senior Software Engineer at Amazon. Link will be in the description of the video. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. Problem is N Queens 2. So in this problem, we are given uh, a puzzle, right? What is the puzzle? N Queens puzzle. It's the problem of placing n queens on a on an n cross n chessboard such that no two two queens attack each other. Okay, so given an integer n, return the number of distinct solutions to the n queens puzzle. So first of all, let's understand what the problem is. So see, this problem is n queens puzzle, right? N queens puzzle. So what we have to do in this n queen pu queens puzzle? We are given n, right? n is the number of queens we have. So let's say we have 4 queens. n is equal to 4. So we have 4 queens. And we have to place these 4 queens on this puzzle. Or on this board, right? This board is n cross n board. That is n is what? 4, right? 4 cross 4 board this is. And we have to place all the 4 queens on this board. Now, we have to place these queens in such a way in such a way that no two queens no queens attack each other, uh, at, at each other right so no uh, no queens should attack each other now how like, let's say if a queen is here right if a queen is here so queen can attack here here and here basically queen can go uh, on the uh, left uh, left right down top and diagonally right for example let's say if a queen is here so a queen can attack all the queens which are uh, over here, 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 like this and diagonally as well, right? Diagonally as well. So we have to place queens in such a way that they are not anywhere in diagonal. For example, if a queen is here, so we can place the other queen here. All right. And we can place the other one here and we can place... Uh, where we can place so we can place the uh, other one somewhere so this this see this here we have to if we place here a queen this will be a problem right so we cannot place here if we place here then also there will be a problem if we place here then also there will be a problem here also there will be a problem because here there is a queen so there are some specific solutions where we can place a queen for example if uh, there are four queens right so these are two solutions which are vi uh, viable solutions so see one queen we can place here so if we place one queen here other queen we can place here at the end then the third queen we can place here so see neither no no, uh, no two queens can attack each other right this queen cannot attack this one this queen cannot attack this one right then the large queen we can place here so see this is a correct solution. This is a correct solution. No two queens can attack each other. I hope you are getting this. This queen can attack here. So no queen is here. So this is a correct solution. One There, there is one more solution. So let's see that. So if I just. I am just going to erase this. Okay. So see. There is one more solution. In which we can place the first queen here. Then the queen here. Second queen here and then here and then the fourth one here so see this is also a viable solution okay so let me write both the solutions here so yellow one is one solution and the other one is this one q then there here we have here then the first here and then here okay so see these two are the uh, solutions for when there are four queens similarly if you see other uh, also, when there is only one queen, so obviously there will be one solution. That is okay. So there are different uh, n could be from 1 to n, right? So at max, there could be n cross n board and we'll have n queens. And we have to find out how many distinct solutions are there. Solution means that how many ways we can place the, all the n queens such that no two queens attack each other. 
so if you see this here these two are the solutions so when n is 4 there are two solutions for placing all the n queens so i hope you understood the problem uh, it's very important that you understand the problem so as to grasp the solution right now let's see how we can approach this problem so see what we need to do right we need to place all the queens there are four queens which we have to place four queens we need to place such that no queen attack each other so let's say i'm drawing this board again so see what we will do we have to place four queens such that no queen attack each other and obviously see this is one common thing that we cannot place two queens in the same row this is simple thing right if i place two queens in the same row obviously they will attack each other so one thing is clear one thing is clear that each queen will go in each row each queen right each queen in each row right so if there is one queen in this first row then this next queen will go in the next row only and since there are n rows right don't forget this is a n cross n board so and also we have n queens so each queen can go in each row this is okay right i hope you understood this point that each queen will go in each row we cannot have two queens in the same row okay two queens cannot be in the same row so i hope you understood this point now let's see what is the next step this is very important point to understand that uh, each queen will be in each row now second thing is see for example i have placed this first queen here now can i place the second queen here no right same column can i place the second queen here no same diagonal right can i place the second queen here yes i can place right why i can place because see we have to place the queen such that no queen attach each other right so this queen this the earlier the one which is already present cannot attack this one this can only attack diagonally but this does not come in the diagonal right so this queen is safe so there is no queen all in on the top left right down diagonally right so this queen is safe so what do you think guys what do you think what is the condition to check whether we can place a queen at a particular position or not can i place this queen at this position how do, how can i check that how can i check that just try to just pause the video and try to think so see to place a queen right we have to check whether there is a queen already present already in same row so same row see same row it will not be this is confirmed right do you think it is necessary to check same row because we already we already uh, got that that each queen will be in each row like one queen will be in one row so obviously no two queens can be in the same row this is confirmed right so this is there is uh, there is no point of checking it again if if a queen all the queens will be in different rows so we have to check whether there is already a in same column for example if we have to check when we are placing this queen right we have to check whether there is a queen in the same column or not like earlier present already uh, a queen is present in the same column or not then what we need to check is there already a queen in this diagonal so i am calling this diagonal as anti diagonal and this diagonal this one this diagonal as the main diagonal okay so what i will check we have to check whether there is already a queen in the same column already a queen in the same in in same anti diagonal and already a queen in the same main diagonal for example if let's say there was a queen here here so we cannot place this queen here because then this blue blue queen will attack this yellow queen right so we have to whenever we have to place a queen right we have to check these things these three things if there is a, a queen in the same column we cannot place there if there is already a queen in the same anti diagonal we cannot place there and if there is already a queen in the same main diagonal main diagonal is this one anti diagonal is this one so we cannot place queen there so if these three uh, if these three conditions any of these three conditions are true like then we cannot place the queen there i hope you understood this point so this is very important uh now let's proceed further so i hope 
this till this you are clear with the uh, the concept so now see guys now i hope see now we are clear with the fact that if i have to uh, if i have to place a queen here i will have to check whether there is a already present queen let's say uh, there is already i placed a queen here and then i placed a queen here now i have to place in the third row i have to place the queen in the third row then what i will check first i will check can i place the queen here i will go in each column right i will check because see we know that we have to place queen in each row now when i am at the third row i have to place the third queen i will go in each column and check can i place the third queen here what do you think no we cannot place because there is already in the same column so this queen will obviously attack this queen so we cannot place here so here we cannot place can i place here yeah i can place here but do you think no we cannot place here why because see here we have this right here we have this queue so this if we place a queen here this queue this queen will attack that queen right so we cannot place here now can i place here no why because there is already a play a queen in the same column so this queen will attack the queen which is which we will place here so this is not the correct place can i place here yes i can place here why because in the diagonal also and anywhere uh, in the same column also there is no queen so this is the correct place we can place the queen so this is how we will be checking right this is how we will be checking so what i will do just try to understand the steps i know that each queen each queen will go in each row so there are n rows so all the n queens will go in one row like in each row first row first queen second row second queen right this is clear second step will be that whenever i have to place a queen in e any row in any row i have to place the queen i will start from the first column and will go to the last column and will check in each column can i place the queen in that row can i place the queen can i place the queen so for example if i was checking for the third row i checked in this first column then in the second column the third column then the fourth column okay after that now how the main thing over in this question is how to check how to check whether we can place in a particular cell or not how to check whether we can place in a particular cell or not for example if i am here can i place in this cell can i place in this cell can i place in this cell right so can i place in this cell so this is very important to check so how we will check that now let's discuss that now see guys now we will be discussing how we can check that whether we can place in a particular cell or not okay so see for row we there is no need to check because every queen will go in a uh, separate row so that is row from with the row aspect we are clear how we can check for the column for example there is already a already a queue uh, queue uh, already a queen in this uh, in this column so if i am uh, for the first row when i have to place the second queen i will not have to play i should not place in the this sec this column right so how will i know that how sh uh, i should place in this cell or not like in this column or not so one one way is to check that okay when we have to check for this cell we will check on in the uh, entire column we will have a loop for loop and we will check from zeroth column till the uh, uh, like basically we will go in we will check in this column so we'll go to each here like this and we will check whether there is a queen already present or not right this is one way but this is obviously we have to have a loop right so this is not efficient right this is not the efficient approach every time whenever you have to check for every other cell like for example you have to place queen here so here also you'll have to go through this uh, this column and check whether there is already a queen present in the above rows or not right for example for this column only whether there are queens present in this uh, above rows or not this you'll have to check so obviously this is not a efficient approach this is in this you are checking in o of n time 
right o of n time you are checking for a column so we can reduce this o of n time to constant right how we can do that see it's very basic it's very simple right i will have a array i will have a array in which i will store that whether there is already a queen present in the this column or not see there are n columns and n rows right so i will have a array of n size 0 1 2 and 3 here n is 4 right so i am taking that into account n is equal to 4 so for example so for example i am placing a queen in this column i am placing the queen i am i am placing the queen in this column okay so what i will do this is first column right one column so i will play i will book this space like i will mark it if it is true i will mark it false something like this i'll do so that i can get to know that okay this column is now occupied so no queen can come here now all right so when i go to the second row to place the second queen i will check for this column so the so zero let's say this is true right all these are true initially so true means that we can place a queen so when for for first row i have placed the queen in the first column so it's false here now for the second queen i will be placing can i place in the zeroth column yes so i can place here can i place in the first column no because it's already false meaning there is already a queen in the above rows so obviously we cannot place here so in this way we can check right this is a good way this is a o of one time in which we in which we can check whether we can place in the same column or not okay so i hope you understood how we can check for the column now it's time for to understand how we can check for the diagonal so see guys now we will check how we can uh, check for the main diagonal main diagonal we will see first so see for example my queen is present here my queen first queen is present here now i have to place the second queen in the second row so can i place here no right because this earlier queen will attack this one so how will i get to know that i cannot place this here just try to understand th this right one thing is obviously we can have a for loop and we will be checking all the for this cell this is let's say this is i comma j cell right i comma j cell for this i comma j cell we will see in the entire diagonal we will have a loop and we will check for the entire diagonal whether there is a queen already present or not in the entire diagonal but that is obviously not efficient because using for loop so how we can do it in constant time see see for just try to understand this right what i am doing right now is i am calculating for each cell i plus j value i plus j value so i is the row number and j is the column number so here 0 plus 0 this is i this is j right 0 plus 0 is what 0 0 plus 1 is what 1 0 plus 2 is 2 0 plus 3 is 3 similarly for this like now i is this j is this so 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 1 plus 2 is what 3 and 1 uh, plus uh this 1 plus 3 is what uh 4 okay now see 2 plus 0 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 2 plus 2 is 4 and 2 plus 3 is 5 okay and uh, then we have uh this 3 plus 0 is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 and then 3 plus 5 uh, 2 is 5 and 3 plus 3 is 6 so see in this way i have written all the i plus j values for each cell right for each cell in here now if you see a pattern here this is a uh, yeah see just see a pattern here here let's talk for this diagonal first then let's talk for anti diagonal first so see here this 3 is coming for all these cells same for this entire diagonal this 3 3 3 i that is i plus j value i plus j value 
is seen. So what do you think from this? If I place a queen here, let's say, I will book this i plus j value. That is, this three value I will book. That because I have placed a queen here, this is booked now. So when I am again placing a queen here in the same diagonal, I will check this i plus j value whether it is booked or not. If it is booked, I cannot place queen here. All right. So see. For this, how you can book it? Like how you can store this i plus j value? I have n as four, right? I will make an array because I just i plus j value can go up to what six, right? It can go up to what six. So I will make an array of two into n minus one size. Two into n minus one size. That is two into n is what four minus one seven size. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So when I have placed a queen here, I will book this i plus j value zero plus three, three value here. Uh, initially everything will be true. So when I have placed this queen here, I will make this three as false. Will make it as false. Okay, that is now I can no one can place another queen in this diagonal. So when we go in the second call, uh, second row here, and we are ch checking whether we can place a queen here or not, we will check the i plus j value. One plus two is three. Is three booked? Yes, it's booked. So we cannot place here. This queen cannot place here. We have to go further and check. So this way we will be checking for empty diagonal, right? We'll be checking for this empty diagonal. Now the last thing which is left is how to check for the main diagonal. For the main diagonal. Now let's see that. So now see for anti uh, for the uh, main diagonal how we'll see for the main diagonal for example let's say I have a queen placed here right so now second queen I have to place I have to check whether I can place here or not but we obviously we cannot place because in the same diagonal we have this queen but how we will check it again one way is that we can have a for loop and we can check in the diagonal or like that. But again, not efficient. So, how we can do it? See, just see this formula. It's i plus column size minus j minus one. See this thing. Try to calculate this value for each cell. So, let's say i is here, j is here. So, for this, what will be the value? For this. So I am calculating for the diagonal only, right? I will not calculate for the other cells. I will just calculate for the diagonal only. So 0 plus i is 0, right? Plus column size. What is column size? We have n cross n matrix uh, this board, right? So column size is 4 minus j. J is what? It is the 0th column minus 1. So this will be 3. Here, this will be 3, right? For the second for this diagonal right I'll just calculate into the diagonal so then for 1 plus column size is 4 minus j is what minus 1 minus 1 so see this will be what 3 again so for now now for this diagonal uh, so, so this cell sorry it will be i is what 2 i is this 2 plus column size is 4 minus what is j j here it will be 2 minus 1 so this will be again 3 and for this last cell, here we have i is what 3 plus column size 4 minus uh, j is what, 3 minus 1. So this will be again 3. So see guys, this also for this main diagonal, all these values are same. So if we have placed a queen here, we will mark 3 booked and then we cannot place the next queen here. That is, again what we will do, just try to think what we have, what we can do here. Uh, pause the video and think. So what we will do, we will make a, again a array of size 2 cross n, 2 into n minus 1. Because maximum value could be, uh, see 6 or uh, 6, uh, it could be, but like we will we'll have just 2, 2 cross n minus 1 size. So here we will have this array of what size 2 into 4 minus 1 that is 7. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 
right seven size now for example i have placed a queen here so i will mark this uh, this value G i plus call size minus j minus 1 i will book this value so this value is 3 so i will initially all will be true i will mark this 3 as false that is its book now so when i go to the second row to place the second queen for this column i will check whether i can place in this column or not uh, in the, uh, sorry for in this cell or not so for this main diagonal i will check the value this value it's already booked so i cannot place here okay so i hope you understood this so we have discussed all the checks right how how to check for the column how to check for the entry diagonal and how to check for the main diagonal now let's dry run the approach i hope uh, it's very easy problem right it's very easy just you need to know the technique how to identify right so see guys now let's dry run so first of all for column checking for column i will make an array of size n so n is 4 right n is 4 so 0 1 2 0 1 2 3 this is a column uh, array for main diagonal i will make an array of 2 into n minus 1 size so 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 this is for main diagonal for anti diagonal again we will make a array of size 2 into n minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 and six okay so now let's place the queens so see this is very important first of all we will go in the ith row first row i0 right i have taken this variable i0 this will tell me the row number right now we are at currently what which row so we are at first row uh, i0 row and uh, can i place the queen here can i place the queen here i'll check so for column i can check like whether so initially see guys initially everything will be true right that is everything we, everywhere we can place so true everything will be true okay so can i place in the zeroth column yes zeroth column we can place so can i place in this main diagonal so how to check for the main diagonal i plus call size minus j minus 1 right so 0 plus 4 minus 0 minus 1 so 3 so for this uh, main diagonal this is for anti diagonal right for main diagonal z3 is true meaning we can place here then we can can we place for the uh, the the anti uh, for the anti diagonal that is 0 plus i plus j i plus j can we place so yeah we can place it's booked so we can place here so what right now what i'll be doing is i'll be uh, i'll be making the solution right so i'll place the first queen in the second column so we will check like this we'll check for the each row so if you uh, so first of all let's say you have placed the queen here right now you will proceed i and you will place the i uh, next queen somewhere here right we, can, we cannot place here you can place here so we'll have to place here right so if you place queen here right in the first column of the first row you will not get a viable solution you can try it you will get, not get a viable solution let's check for the because see guys how you will check whether you can place queen here zeroth column this you have to play, change it to false right you have to change it to false because you are placing queen here if so you have to change this to false so now how you can check whether you can place queen here this is already booked right this zeroth column is already booked so you cannot place a queen here so in this way you can check right whether you can place a queen or not so see now what i have done is i have placed this queen here right now if i have to place this queen here the first queen in the second call second column this column i don't want to place queen here i have to place queen here so for this i'll have to backtrack what does backtracking uh, means backtracking here means that see for this when you placed queen here when you have placed queen here here what you have done you have marked this as false you have marked this as false and you have marked this as false because this column is uh, occupied this diagonal is occupied right 
but now since you're moving this queen to here you will have to again mark these as true because now this you have to mark this as true so this is what called as backtracking so you, what you will do you will just backtrack to the previous state that is backtrack to previous value so true 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 will be there so now you will shift your queen you will shift your queen to the first in the first row second column so in this way you will go to each column and check whether you can place queen or not so this will give you different different solutions right so if you place queen here so this first column is occupied mark it as false this diagonal is occupied so empty diagonal will be 0 plus 1 1 that is this one and main diagonal will be 0 i plus 4 minus 1 minus 1 so this will be uh, what uh, this will be 4 minus 1, uh, uh, this will be 2, right? So, this 2 will be false. Sorry, this is main diagonal. So, this will be 2 will be false. Okay. So, now, you have to place the, you will go to the second row and you have to place the second queen. So, can you place here? Just check. Can you place here? Column is, uh, okay. So, zeroth column is not booked, so you can place. But check for the empty diagonal. Empty diagonal value will be what? Uh, it will be 1 plus uh, it will be see 1 plus 0 so that you can place but first check for this one 0 plus 1 plus uh, column size is what 4 minus 0 minus 1 so this will be so basically you cannot place here right because here this value is uh, it will uh, this is 0 plus 1 is what 1 for the uh, anti diagonal so right one so it's already occupied right false so it's already occupied so you cannot place here right so you'll have to go here then this is already occupied this column so you cannot place here also so can you place here this is the main diagonal so again you cannot place here because main diagonal value will be what it will be uh, see it will be what 1 plus 4 minus 2 minus 1 so it will be the, its values uh, this is already booked right so here you cannot place and then here you cannot place uh, so here you can place so this is the only uh, value uh, place where you can place the queen so see here okay so similarly for you will check for the third row and similarly you will check for the fourth row so in this way you can calculate the solution right for each row you will check for every column so to to so as you can get different solutions and when you will get the you will reach the fourth row so when you will reach the fourth row and you place the queen right so for the third row you will place queen here and for the fourth row you will place queen here so when you will reach the fourth row and you have placed the fourth queen after that when you uh, your i will become what four so it is equal to n so this will be your base condition so uh, when you re when your control reaches something like this it means that you have found a one solution so you will increment your count so you can do count plus plus okay so i hope you understood n queen some somewhat you understood how you can approach and solve this problem let's see the code once and uh, i will highly recommend dry run the code once if you do not dry run you will not understand n queens okay so see guys, this total queens function is given and n is given. So we have created three vectors, uh, right? You can create the row one also, but I don't really think uh, it's necessary. But if you want, you can create. So column, anti diagonal, size n for column, all the values true. 2 into n minus 1 for anti diagonal, for main diagonal also 2 into n minus 1, true, true. Okay. So count is the value which will tell you the number of distinct solutions and you'll return that. This is a, a day, uh, I have created this function DFS and here DFS and this will calculate the number of solutions. So first of all, we are passing this zero, which is the current row number. There is a total number of rows, total number of columns, all these three. Uh, this row variable, oh, sorry, this is the row vector, call vector, main diagonal, anti diagonal and the count. On all these, see all these we are passing by reference. See all these are by reference. So after that, if i is equal to row size, okay, 
this is the base condition if you have filled all the rows this means you have filled all the rows with queens now this will be your one solution so you can count increment and return otherwise for every row right for every ith row you will go to each column and you will check whether call j main diagonal anti diagonal they are true if all these are true so if when will they be true when they there we can place right so if they all are true meaning you can place at that particular cell so you will place at that cell okay and you will mark them all as now false so you have since you have placed here right for example you have placed here so we will mark all the uh, required positions as false you will mark them as booked and then you will make the recursive call to place the second queen so for example i have placed the queen here now i will make the recursive call to place the second queen and once you have done with that recursive call you will backtrack backtracking again making the values as true so that for example if i have earlier placed q here i have done all the computations for the other next rows now when i have to go to the next col next column to place the queen again to check for here i have to again mark for whatever positions i have marked for this cell i have to undo that right so if i have marked them false i have to mark them true again that is they are available now for example these this these are available now right so that is what we are doing here this is your backtracking this is your backtracking step this one so i hope you understood the problem and the approach let me know in the comments if you have any doubt if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you